What we did here today was a live fire attack. It was a Heliborn assault, company size. Uh, we were supported by combined anti-armor team with heavy weapons, also supported by 81 millimeter mortars and 60 millimeter mortars as well. Um, we had uh, sequential platoon attacks, one platoon setting the conditions for the next platoon to take the second objective, and then the following third platoon to take the last objective. We've been out here for a few days, um, roughly about five days doing uh, just platoon size attacks first off, and then now we're doing this company attack. Uh, we did a dry run yesterday, rehearsal. Today this was a live fire event, it lasted about four hours total. Yeah, so we're here at Mount Bundy, uh, provides us a unique training environment, one that we're not used to with uh, objectives that we haven't seen before. Uh, it's big enough range to where we can set it up the way we want. That way we have uh, multiple ranges set up for each platoon so that we can do things all at the same time without cutting off each other's fire and having a successful operation. So uh, Charlie Company is participating in this exercise. Um, we're kind of doing a rotation. The rest of the companies are going to be taking place uh, or taking part in an exercise in uh, Kulindong. And for that exercise, we are the support element. So therefore, we have this opportunity to train with another company supporting us um, that everyone doesn't have the chance to do. Yeah, so immediately before uh, we came up to that uh, bunker and the obstacle, we had 2nd Platoon over at the 2nd obje uh, Objective. They were providing uh, support for us, a support by fire position, so that we could advance forward to the breach site. Once we got to the breach site, there was an enemy machine gun bunker, so we had to get off a, a small rocket shot in order to suppress that bunker. Once the bunker was destroyed, we were able to get a breach team forward, and we employed an explosive breach so we could get through the breach and flow forces through. And then after that, we were able to push our assault element up the hill to take the objective. I think, uh, I think we did outstanding. Um, we did all the right things, had conditions set for each critical event to happen, and then we flowed through the attack smoothly. Yeah, so live fire exercises are obviously a lot different than um, either blank fire or just rehearsals. Blank fire, you know, we obviously don't have projectiles coming out of the weapon. Uh, it's not as dangerous. When we're doing rehearsals, it's just a dry run. We go through the mo uh, motions, but we're not actually shooting anything. Um, a live fire exercise confirms everything that we've been training. So doing it with live rounds confirms that we, that we have everything, uh, training objectives met, that we are able to perform in a live fire environment and if we had to go out in combat. Yes it is. So we, I mean, we do those rehearsals and we do dry runs all the time to get them used to what they need to do. Um, only difference is we're adding live fire rounds and it doesn't seem to affect them too much. They're confident with their weapons and, and their abilities to do what they need to do. Definitely, yeah, we're definitely excited to do it. Um, it's a huge objective, like I said, with three different platoons attacking sequentially. Um, we really got to see a lot of different things in place, see how it works so that we can all work together as a company. And uh, the platoon was very excited to do a live fire range together. Uh, so far, Australia has been great. It's been a great opportunity for us to train with the Australians. Uh, it puts us in a different environment that we're not used to, like I said before. Um, the people out in town are great. Uh, it seems that they're having a very positive response to us being here. We're forming relationships, um, that military diplomacy aspect. Um, also hitting interoperability, making sure that uh, U.S. forces and the Australian Defense Forces are able to fight side to side if necessary. Uh, overall, it's been a great experience.